Well, good evening, everyone. We're taking a look at the Mercy F SkyTrack weather camera, and we are noticing the end of a beautiful sunset across the state line today. Uh, but as we look across Rockford this evening, we are quiet. We're not expecting any wet weather today, and we should be mainly dry up until about Friday evening. So Christmas Eve evening, we're talking about potentially maybe some rain around. Now, here's a look at the day planner. It shows that we'll have partly cloudy to mostly clear conditions for the rest of the evening, and temperatures will slowly fall into the upper 20s as we we had throughout the night tonight. Temperatures uh, from today topped out in the mid 30s. Officially Rockford, we topped out at 35 degrees. And when we take a look at temperatures now, we're sitting at 31 degrees in Rockford, but we are pretty cold farther to the west in the mid 20s already. That may be an outlier. I think most of us actually only dip down toward the upper 20s when it's all said and done. But as we check in with one of our weather watchers, this is Ken in Belvedere. He reported temperatures about an hour or so ago near 32 degrees right where he is. So again, we're all pretty much in the low 30s now and we'll see temperatures slowly fall from there. But one of the reasons why we will likely stay uh, warmer than average this evening is because of stronger wind out of the south. This wind anywhere from 5 to about 15 miles per hour will help keep us a little warmer. And you'll notice temperatures by 7 a.m. really pretty much near 30 degrees. Now, as we head toward Monday afternoon, we'll see temperatures approach near 40 degrees. Then we'll cool off a little bit more for tomorrow night. Temperatures down toward the low 20s, which is seasonal for this time of year. But then as we look ahead to Tuesday afternoon, we'll have temperatures back to near 40 degrees. So we are talking about seasonal conditions for the first couple of days of this week. Now, the satellite radar shows that we are quiet. We just have a few high clouds out there. We're noticing more activity farther toward our north and west. For us, high pressure is dominating our weather, and that's what will keep weather calm as we head throughout the next couple of days. But as we look at our upper level pattern and really point out where the jet stream will be located, pretty much right here, we are expecting a zonal flow as we head into Monday. That means weather will be moving in from west to east, and that typically means seasonal weather conditions, and that's what we are expecting. But as we look ahead to Wednesday or at least late Tuesday into Wednesday, we will see a subtle dip in the jet stream that may help bring us a few more clouds Tuesday before high pressure builds back in for Wednesday. But as we look ahead to Friday, we will see a ridge starting to build right across our region, and that means warmer conditions for us. So we're looking at temperatures Friday potentially in the lower 50s. And then as we head towards Saturday, Christmas Day, we're talking about temperatures still being on the milder side, but we will notice a jet stream a little more zonal and a disturbance will likely move along the jet stream that could bring us a rain late Christmas Eve into early Christmas morning. Now, as we look at that limited rain threat, we see it showing up as we head toward Friday evening, but it should not be anything significant, but it is something we're keeping our eyes on. Now, here's a quick look at the headlines. We have not had really any snow. We've only had a trace of snow this month in December, and we're talking about really not seeing any snow chances over the next several days. Tonight, we're down to 27 degrees, mostly clear, light wind. Tomorrow, we'll see temperatures near 40 degrees, and the seven-day shows pretty quiet conditions as we head toward Tuesday, the official start of winter and they were warm and breezy for Christmas Eve and warm into Christmas.